Hi guys, and welcome back to the series on Monstrous Night, written and narrated by Stacey Holt, inspired by the artwork by DP Chan on Tumblr. I'll also leave a link to their artwork in the description box below, as well as my social media if you'd like to check that out. Back to Chapter 7. Struggles. Marinette put the necklace on and looked at Cat Noir. What are you waiting for? Transform, Cat said. Marinette looked down at her feet and sped out her fangs into her hand. She dropped them onto the ground and sat there for a second. I need to know something first, Marinette said, feeling a little shy. What is it? He asked. I almost killed Adrian earlier. Is he alright? Marinette said, her face beginning to sadden. He is just fine. I found him when you left and took him to safety. Cat smiled, putting his hand on her shoulder. What about Ladybug? Where is she? Do you know? Marinette asked, trying not to sound too suspicious. I don't think she will be here anytime soon. This party was big, but not like Paris big. I was just in the neighborhood. You know me, princess. I'm always transformed and bouncing around the city on patrol. He winked. Marinette smiled and nodded to him, letting him know that she was better. Mulo, get squeaky, Marinette yelled, transforming back into her old superhero and self called Multi Mouse. Cat Noir's eyes lit up, seeing someone transform other than himself for the first time. After her transformation was over, his face turned a little red, seeing her in a new outfit. All right, I'll use my ability to find him, Marinette said. Multitude, she yelled, shrinking herself down as she made little clones of herself. Cat Noir bent down to see her original self and picked her up and sat her on his shoulder, smiling at him. All right, let's go try and find him while my other selves do their job too. Marinette said, determined. You got it, princess. Cat Noir laughed. The party was over, and for good reason. Though it was late, so most people were in their homes. The people that weren't inside their homes were hiding from the people who were turned into monsters. Marinette sighed, looking at everyone who were monsters running around and terrorizing Paris. What's wrong, princess? A Halloween akumatization too cheesy for you? Cat Noir winked at her, causing her to give a slight smile. I just can't believe I let myself get hit earlier by the culprit's akumatization. I feel almost embarrassed, Marinette sighed. Don't be, he smiled. Marinette smiled back, but her eyes widened, then darted to behind her. There, found him. He's over there. Let's go, she said, standing up on his shoulder, her fist clenched, ready for battle. Cat Noir turned around and darted off toward that direction, dashing in between monsters who were trying to attack him as he passed by, holding Marinette in his hands to keep her from falling. You okay down there? He said, opening his hands slightly to see her, holding on to his hands for stability. J just fine! Just try and hurry! She screamed, closing her eyes as she bounced back and forth from him running. He dashed up onto a building where he heard her yell to stop. He opened his hand and she summoned herself to the spot and regained her normal size once again. I have five minutes left now. Let's make this quick. He's right over there, Marinette said, just as the last cell phased into her. Thank you so much for watching. The next chapter will be out soon. If you'd like to read the script early, it'll be on my Patreon. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!